All right, hello everyone. This is my week one discussion board for intro to organizational and industrial psychology. Um, so the first question is, what do you see as the biggest challenge facing the modern workforce? How do you think industrial organizational psychologists can help? Um, I think the biggest challenge facing the modern workforce is employee and company matching. Many people go into fields that are high earning and in demand, but don't as often um, consider a career that would fit their personal skill set and work that would keep them interested and motivated for years to come in that career. Um, and when it comes to the companies themselves, nearly all full-time positions in any given field require like some kind of college degree or higher education. Um, and they expect new hires to be like totally capable of um, of the specific demands of their job and their field. So they usually offer very little training um, to new hires. Uh, and while a new employee can adapt to better understand the company, um, it's not the most efficient process in bringing in new talent to the company. So a mix of uh, companies not matching talent with employees and then also like insufficient training to those uh, employees. And then number two, what do you feel made the biggest contribution to early history of industrial organizational psychology and why? Um, I think Walter Dill Scott made the biggest contribution to the early history of IO psychology because I think his research and focus was the most practical and applicable to both businesses and the government. Um, his focus on worker motivation and creative solutions to like practical problems um, became like a, a key element of the industrial organizational field. And then not only that, but his work helped the field of industrial organizational psychology um, to gain like a lot of influence and he really spread awareness of the existence of that field. So other like scientists and researchers would eventually go into it but he also gained it like a lot of credibility as like a real science and a real subfield of psychology. Um, so question number three, have you ever experienced a problem at work that interfered with your safety, productivity, or job satisfaction? In each case, discuss the relevance of uh, industrial organizational psychology to the problem. Um, I've experienced many problems that affected my ability to do my job at many different companies, but uh, the most recent example would be at my internship with the Office of Cultural Affairs. Um, when setting up for an event like held by our city and our office, um, our team's like rarely ever on the same page. Uh, we usually like never communicate um, like from the people that actually know what's going on that day at that event to the people that are actually setting it up. So like top to bottom communication is all over the place. Um, and we usually just like that day of, we figure out what the tasks are that need to be done and what like the layout of the event is gonna be. Um, we're never really debriefed beforehand. And that makes it difficult for not just us, but like whatever partner organizations we're working with. So like if we're working with the Department of uh, Public Safety or Health and Human Services, it's now more difficult for everyone who's working that event because of this lack of communication. Um, we often have to improvise because we'll be missing supplies that's necessary for your events. And there's very little organization within the office. And um, it also seems like nobody's really responsible directly for the organization. And it's just kind of like people just try to get by like the way with the way things are um or that they're not even aware of the level of disorganization and these these are issues that industrial organizational psychologists exist to solve so they can design better systems of organization for the office they can train coordinators on effective communication from top all the way down to the bottom like the people actually working the event um, that way the teams can work a lot more efficiently and um, it doesn't have to be like such a scramble at that minute. Like it can be a lot more structured 
just by giving certain people like a little bit of training. So yeah, um, that's everything.